American psychologists have their own John Hughes. And what's worse is that our professional association, the American Psychological Association, has quietly but firmly protected and encouraged them since the onset of the so-called War on Terror. Psychologists have been at the center of designing methods of psychological torture that probably remain in use as we speak. Sleep deprivation and humiliation are just two examples. Their presence at detention settings like Guantanamo has been used to suggest that the presence of mental health professionals at these settings proves that the treatment of the detainees is proper. Yet the reports by detainees and their lawyers, as well as the incidents of suicide, clearly suggest the contrary. When knowledge of the presence of psychologists in these settings became known to the public three to four years ago, some psychologists began to challenge APA to do something, to speak out, to discipline participating psychologists and tell them that by participating in programs where torture is taking place is unethical. To our dismay, APA took the opposite stance, asserting that psychologists belonged at Guantanamo and were aiding the fight against terrorism. Furthermore, we discovered in 2002, APA's Ethics Committee changed the Ethics Code to allow psychologists, when confronted with a conflict between their ethics and orders from a legal authority, to go ahead and follow the orders. I kid you not. The same defense used by Nazis and nullified during the Nuremberg trials was actually written into APA Ethics Code. A number of psychologists leaped into action. We have been busy ever since. A movement to withhold dues led to two years of rallies and leafleting at APA's annual convention, first in San Francisco, then in Boston. When names emerged of offending psychologists, individual members filed ethics complaints, all of which have languished in the bowels of APA. Last year, we used a little-known and never-before-used provision in APA bylaws to initiate a referendum calling for the barring of all psychologists from working in settings that violate the Geneva Conventions unless they are working directly for the detainees or for human rights organizations. We managed to gather enough signatures to call the vote, and one year ago, a ballot went out to every one of APA's approximately 90,000 members in which we were able to state our pro position and rebut APA's con position. By mid-September, the vote was final and we had won. The ban on psychologists working at Guantanamo and any site where people are detained outside or in violation of Geneva was now official APA policy. Nice. very little has actually happened. True, letters were sent from APA's presidents, first to Bush and his administration, then to Obama and his crew, informing them of the new policy. But the many further steps needed to make it actually happen have not been taken. Within 